Welcome to the Coast to Coast podcast brought to you by Play Picks and the Lines. Coming to you from the West Coast, Josh Lander. Joined as always by my guy, Nate Weitzer, on the East Coast. And we are looking at a game in the Midwest, actually, today, Nate. The Milwaukee Bucks going to Detroit, taking on the Pistons. Uh, Not going to be the sexiest game, probably, but I think there's some pretty good value that we can find as we're going to hit our favorite uh, stars out, bets up uh, sort of style of betting here, uh, as the Bucks are going to be without a bunch of their starters. Um, Got a couple other videos up for you guys today as well. Make sure you do check out uh, the uh, video we have there for you on the Heat and the Mavs, as well as our daily player props video. Um, But as always, if you do still need a FanDuel or DraftKings account, head to fdpicks.com or dkpicks.com and find those listings in your area such as what we've got for tuesday night nate let's jump into it yeah the bucks open at four points uh favorites i believe despite the news about drew holiday chris middleton and brooke lopez all being ruled out um obviously still without dante and divincenzo there the total's been bet down to 211 and a half probably as that news starts to leak out and the bucks are five point favorites at this juncture, things could change wildly if Giannis happens to sit. He hyperextended his knee, but I think he's been practicing and is ready to go uh, and ready to carry that team. And looking at the other four games tonight, the Heat are right now minus two and a half at Dallas. We have a separate episode about that and the line movement there. The Kings are plus nine and a half at Utah. The Pelicans plus 11 and a half at Phoenix and the Rockets are plus 10 at the Lakers. So that's why we're sticking in the Eastern Conference, not touching all those 10 point spreads out West. Um, And it's a really intriguing bet here on Milwaukee because they've lost three in a row. Confidence from the betting public is way down. But here they go in a get right matchup against the Pistons team. They've beaten 14 straight times. And in fact, four of those times were without Giannis. Um, I mean, if Giannis sits, again, all bets are off. I would not bet on the Bucks without all those starters and without the MVP. Um, but if he's playing, I, I think that you have to like their chances against the Pistons team that's 1-5 this year, that has the second-worst scoring margin, negative 11 on the year, that has not covered in 16 of their last 20 division games, and is 2-9 and nine against the spread in their last 11 overall Look at the one game the Pistons won, um, and you're like, oh, it's because Kate Cunningham finally played, right? Uh, nah. He had two points on one of eight field goal shooting. Uh, I've routinely said the kid is is a good, good pro. He's going to be a good leader, but he's not your typical number one pick that's going to just come in and change the face of a franchise immediately. Um, he's very much a facilitator and lets the game come to him. Um And they still let Orlando, freaking Orlando, shoot 16 for 32 from downtown in that game. I'm not sure how they won the game. And then I'd look at the box score, see, oh, they got 30 free throws. Sure. Uh, Milwaukee is middle of the pack this year in free throw attempts allowed. Uh, But against a bad team like this, I think they can do a pretty good job protecting the rim. Um, Giannis has said, you know, when asked after that third straight loss, what the issue is, he said, Brooke, I need Brooke back. And uh, that's that's absolutely (laughs) true. He needs his rim protector behind there. But this is never a guy to make excuses. He will take it on his shoulders. He will protect the rim himself. He will score himself. And um, yeah, that's why you look at just his his props, 51 and a half PRA or 31 and a half points. Uh, Clearly, odds makers expecting a huge night from Giannis. And he's been huge against the the Pistons in the 10 of those wins. He's played 29 points per game on clean 55 percent. Field goal shooting, uh, so I think he can he can carry them to win on his own. Yeah, that, that that's fair, and, and they've been without Drew for a little bit now. Um, you know, and, and Chris is out in that the health and safety protocol, uh, Middleton. And yeah, I mean, he needs Brooke because he feels better, obviously, about being able to run all over the court like a free safety when he's got a seven footer uh, who, who's a really nice defensive presence coming down down low for him. Um, you know, but really in terms of what uh, you mentioned about that Orlando Detroit game, that started where I, was, I started my my sort of research into this one because of the fact that um, you know Detroit gives up. <laughs> so many three-pointers a game they're allowing their opponents to shoot 43 percent from three right now obviously worse than the league as you would expect um milwaukee shoots the seven most they attempt the seven most threes a game um you know they're in the top ten in terms of the percentage amount of points that they score from the three
three point line. Um, so yeah, I mean, with with all those players out, without uh, a guy like Drew Holiday who can really break down a defense, and Chris Middleton who can really score from all over the floor, um, it's going to be a lot of you know sort of one down low with Giannis and four high, as a la the sort of 2010 Magic with Dwight Howard. Going to be a bunch of shooters like Patty Connaughton, uh, Grayson Allen, uh, and all those guys just standing around Giannis uh, looking to knock down some threes. And I think that's where they'll score a ton of their points, and why I wouldn't feel too uh, scared about a spread of, of five points with so many stars out for for Milwaukee. Um, and really, I mean, Milwaukee's bench um, is probably as good, if not better, than Detroit starters. It's definitely chock full of veterans that you know have a lot more experience in the league and, and can come in and do some things. Bobby Portis is getting a little bit healthier finally, um, which will be a bit a nice down low presence for them that they've definitely been missing as their defense is really the thing that we, we look at each year and go, oh, their defense is suffocating. They get all their, the, you know, a ton of points in transition with Giannis coming down full steam and they're not stopping teams on defense enough. They're giving it, they're getting too many shots made on them. Their, their uh, opponent field goal percentage is much higher than it was last year, even though it's a small sample size to start the year um, there's some things that, that obviously worry about Milwaukee but one they're going to turn this around when they get their stars back and two they are playing a team full of G League players and Jeremy Grant tonight um, so I'm not super super worried uh, about a really small spread there and and I would even eye uh, a couple of uh, totals of Grayson Allen who's definitely a, a guy that I'll be talking about in the player props video as well but I think there's some you know ability to, to, to eye some of those uh, secondary players for Milwaukee they'll be getting a ton of minutes yeah I mean somebody's got a score besides Giannis who's going to be drawing double and triple teams and you hit on the, the the attempts are there from deep. The Bucks are not going to change the way they play just because they're 22nd in shooting percentage from three so far. Uh, right. So this that's why you call this a get right matchup because you face a team that gives up a lot of quality looks. These guys all know these role players know that they have to hit with with Middleton out and 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 nothing else. And Bobby Portis has proven many many times that he can step in. And have a really good game uh, when the Bucks need him. Now that he's healthier, yeah, I think he can match up with the Pistons, who their bench might actually be better than their starters. To your point, um, Kelly yeah. Olynyk and Corey Joseph, when they come in, that would be the one thing that concerns me. Those veterans do know how to take advantage of a shorthanded team. Uh, if you are nervous about the Bucks having to win a tight one here, or if the spread moves enough, this is a prime opportunity to use a teaser and get them down to one point or so. Uh, maybe pair them with the other game we like and, and the Heat, even though the Heat don't really need help to cover that spread. Uh, but maybe maybe get the Jazz down to minus five. That would be my idea for a teaser tonight. Uh, but I, yeah, the, the Bucks, yeah, yeah. I do think. Yeah, no, you can, you can tease them down. You can look at ways to like take the money line and still get some points, right? I mean, Giannis double-double and a win is uh, minus 122, but – better than needing those points around the same odds anyway, right? It's about minus 110 with the, with the points at, at any rate. And Giannis to get 10 boards on top of easily, obviously getting however many 20 to 30 points he gets, um, feels like a pretty safe bet, um, you know, rather than trying to really like squeeze out any kind of really strong uh, odds here and try to find some juice on some things by forcing too many, you know, teases or, or parlaying player props or anything like that. I'm betting this game to just have the Bucks win. I'm not scared of the five points, but I, I, once again, on that fan duel player double double for Giannis, I feel most comfortable just needing a, a, a Bucks victory here, um, which is something I think we can expect. And something, you know, even against the spread uh, recently, you know, they, they've they lost three in a row. Um, and some pretty good teams, some pretty good defensive teams as well in Utah, San Antonio, Minnesota. Um, but, you know, following a loss in their last 10 games uh, against a loss against the spread specifically, even they're seven and three against the spread following up in those games. They're a team that bounces back well. And I, I think this is the, the get right game, as you said. So we'll be continuing to look at tonight's fun Tuesday night slate as we roll on here make sure you do like and subscribe to that video check out our Mavs and Heat video as well as player props for tonight and until we see you again happy betting